Hello, this is Brian Fisher. I'm a software IT specialist for IBM Tivoli Business Automation for the Southeast region. And today we will cover how to install and configure the IBM Tivoli Monitoring Infrastructure, or ITM for short, version 6.1, Fix Pack 5, Part 2, the TEMS, TEMA, and TEP installation on Windows Server 2003 Standard Edition SP2. Now we want to locate the ITM installation media. Under Windows, scroll down to setup.exe. Click Next and ask us what drive, C drive. Do we want to install the GS kit? Yes, we don't have a current version. Do we want to install IBM Java? Yes, we don't have a current version. Next. It asks us if we agree to the license agreement. Asks us what folder we want to install it. The default's fine. And asks us what encryption key we want to use for all SSL connections. We'll accept the default of IBM Tivoli Monitoring Encryption Key. Click Next. OK. Now it asks us to select which components we want to install. We want to install the Tivoli Enterprise Monitoring Agent, or the TEMA, the Universal Agent, the Warehouse Proxy, the Monitoring Agent, and the Summarization and Pruning Agent. We also would like to install the Tivoli Enterprise Monitoring Server, or the TEMS, Windows OS support, Universal Agent support, Summarization and Pruning Agent, and if we had an ITM5 installation that we wanted to support, we would also check this. And we also want to install the Tivoli Enterprise Portal Server, or the TEPS, with Windows OS support and Universal Agent support. And this is for the TEPS desktop client. We'll install that too. That's the thick client with Windows OS support and Universal Agent support as well. The last component here is the IBM Eclipse help server. We're not going to install that. Click Next. Select the agents you want to configure. We do want to configure the Universal Agent and the Monitoring Agent. What program folder? We'll accept the default of IBM Tivoli Monitoring. Click Next. It asks us what user ID and password we want for the Tivoli Enterprise Portal Desktop Client and Browser Client. Password here. This is to verify our current settings. Check over everything, make sure it looks right. Click Next. And it is in Now it's asking us which of the components we want to configure. Uh, we'll configure the TEP, the TEMS, and the agents, and then we'll launch the services for additional configuration and, and to start them. So we'll click Next. It asks us the host name and the machine where the TEP server resides. That's DB2 admin password. This is the password we entered in in the DB2 installation. And also, what we want the database password for the TEPS database to be. Click OK. The user ID and password for the TEP server. We'll make it ITM user. 
it asks us how do we want the TEPs to connect to the TEMS IP pipe. So we click OK, enter the host name, make sure that's correct, leave the port number 1918, click OK. Yes. Do we want to reconfigure it? Yes. For a, a, which database type? DB2. Click OK. I'm going to leave the default and ask us for the DB2 admin password. And the ITM user password. I'll enter just to make sure. OK. How we want to configure the temps. We want to make it a hub temps and we want to use protocol IP pipe and the temps name should be hub underscore host name. So that is correct. So we will click OK and it needs the host name here again. Just type it in with the correct capitalization. Click OK on this computer, so click OK. Select all, click OK. Support has been added, let's click Next. It asks us how we want IP pipe, that's fine. And here again the host name. Click OK. Configurations complete. And here's the post installation notice. So we will start the Tiffly Enterprise Portal server first. It's already started. Universal Agent started. The warehouse and summarization and pruning agent isn't started. Agent, we will test that everything has been successful by launching the Tiffly Enterprise Portal desktop client. We're going to use the sysadmin ID with the password we set earlier. Click OK. It says the certificate signer is not trusted. We will say always accept this so we don't have that problem again. The welcome page. We will just close this welcome page out. And here we are presented with the Tivoli Enterprise Portal desktop. And to explain a, a little bit of the layout of this desktop, on the left hand side we have the navigator view. Over our, here is called the workspace area, and each one of these is called a view. So there's the situation event console view, message log view, and these can be changed by simply dragging and dropping an icon from here. So what we'll do now is open up the Windows system item in the navigator, IT cam for our T system the Windows OS agent on that system and we will look at the memory workspace and there we have data being collected on memory allocation and cache activity and paging traffic so this concludes this video on how to install and configure the IBM Tivoli monitoring infrastructure I would like to thank you for your time you may contact me anytime at bfisher at us.ibm.com. Thank you.